Hey YouTube and welcome back to my channel. So I just woke up basically and I'm getting ready to start the day. Today is Wednesday, March 4th, 2020. And a lot of you guys have been asking me, how am I doing? How's Enrico doing? Are we okay? Because you know, there's a huge, insane coronavirus outbreak right where we live. Actually, it's not exactly in Milan. It's some smaller cities south of Milan but yeah Milan is still considered in like the infected zone and the um, so-called red zone of the coronavirus just to say me and Enrico are fine me and Enrico are safe me and Enrico are not worried me and Enrico are too physically fit immune normally immune systemed 24 and 25 year old so the disease isn't actually known to be particularly dangerous or fatal to either of us. That said, I personally don't disagree with the measures that the government is taking to contain the virus. And this is not necessarily because the virus is particularly dangerous for me, but for other reasons. First of all, even though it's not dangerous for me, it is dangerous for a percentage of the population that is older. And mind you, Italy has a lot of older people, people that have a compromised immune system. So given that it is, you know, a percentage of the population is vulnerable, I think it's okay to, you know, try to contain the situation because the virus has shown to be, while not extremely deadly while not extremely dangerous it is extremely contagious and especially in Italy where healthcare is universal where it's paid through through our taxes um, here in northern Italy especially despite the fact that we have like the best functioning best insured uh, healthcare system in all of Italy resources are limited so if the virus is just spread to literally everybody and then you have a percentage of people that has to go and get treated in the hospital not everybody not the majority but some people just simple math shows that the our regions our healthcare system doesn't have the numbers to treat all of those people it's highly contagious if you're in extremely crowded places so what they've been doing is been discouraging the discouraging the formation of crowds like they've pushed back events where there would be big crowds uh, they've closed schools they've closed movie theaters they've closed pretty much anywhere where a huge crowd can form and this is again not because the virus is extremely dangerous and you're gonna catch it and die but it's just to limit the spread so that we can have the resources to actually treat people despite the fact that the schools are closed and movie theaters are closed and all these places are closed uh we're not it's not said that we're supposed to lock ourselves up in our house and just sit around waiting actually you're supposed to keep going on living your normal life but you make some changes to your normal to your normal routines and that's exactly what we've been doing I will admit that the first few like the first few days of all of the coronavirus in Italy did bring about a lot of hysteria and people were acting a little bit crazy like we went to the supermarket one day and there was no more meat vegetables pasta um, because everybody was just like stocking up on food because they thought they would have to stay in their home Homes and you know this crazy virus was gonna come get them but luckily people realized pretty quickly that that made no sense and I, we went to the grocery store this weekend to get food and everything was back to normal in the beginning you saw a lot of people wearing face masks and protecting themselves from the virus despite the fact that the face masks don't protect you from the virus it only uh, prevents you from spreading the virus but Va bene. There were a lot of people wearing face masks this week, not so many. I think that we in Milan are just kind of bored of the whole situation because, you know, at first the drama is cool, the drama is fun, but after a while, you know, staying in your 30, 40 foot apartment, 50 foot apartment for two weeks without doing anything is just impossible. It's enough to make you go mad. Guys, Centro Milano. 7.46 on a Friday and there's nobody, not a car, not a person, except me and this guy riding his bike. Tutti a casa. Saturday night, Metro Rossa a Milano. E ci siamo solo noi.
And so people, I think, just want to, like, get back to norm. I did have a meeting in Rome last week that we ended up canceling because, you know, we didn't want to, we weren't sure what was going on with this whole virus thing. But then as of yesterday, I went back to Rome to go, go to work. And it was also really interesting seeing the difference between Milan and Rome. In Rome, it's like nothing is even happening. I mean, I, maybe I saw one or two people with face masks, but it really is quite normal there. They haven't closed the school. Whereas, yeah, in Milan, they're doing a lot of measures to contain the whole situation. I think it's kind of ironic because me personally, I do believe that way more people have the virus than are confirmed. I believe that the virus was in Italy and in other places way before they, it was actually like announced that it was here. I believe there are a lot of cases in the United States. The only reason that the situation looks the way it does in Northern Italy is one, because Northern Italy is the one that has the resources and the efficiency to actually do the test. So obviously the more tests you do, the more more cases you're gonna find if you're not doing tests it's kind of obvious that you're not gonna show any cases and also the way that the whole situation has been being retold by the media for example it would have been useful to know that in Italy yeah we have a lot of cases but half of those cases found show no symptoms or mild symptoms and did not need to be hospitalized and half of those people were asympto asymptomatic I feel like if you look at things in that optic and in that lens, you kind of see like the situation is just not cause for panic as people have been making it out to be. So today I'm going out to Milan because I have a couple of errands to run and we're gonna walk around and see how the city is today. Like I said, in the recent days, places that are usually full in Milan, for example, Central Station, are not as full, not as busy. You definitely see the decrease in human activity around here but as i said i don't really think this is because and also the doctors and the scientists and the people that actually know what they're talking about have also said that this is not because the virus is insanely deadly or dangerous it's just that we're trying to contain the virus and reduce the spread because it's a new virus we don't have a vaccine for we don't have a cure for a percentage of our population is at risk of it and we don't have enough resources to treat everybody not that everybody is going to die or even be severely sick or even mildly sick that's kind of what's going on here in milan i hope that i've calmed you guys down a little bit uh as the coronavirus spreads to other places i'm sure you guys will be experiencing the same things that we're experiencing here and i have to say like the overwhelming feeling that i've had here i've never been scared if anything else i've been bored and kind of like freaked out by the way other people were freaking out at the situation outside my house and let me show you the situation outside my house right now because it's really a beautiful day you guys look at look at that it's a beautiful day in Milan no coronavirus here like I said I hope this video could have calmed you down a little bit and maybe informed you a little bit more about the situation what's happening here on the ground in the infected red zones of coronavirus uh, remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys in my next one mm -hmm.